Hi, this is Bruce, the last nail. We're on a trip for the next couple of days. And we're up here in Colorado at the Continental Divide at the Berthed Pass. Over my left shoulder is the water, the, the water that's gonna melt here over my left shoulder will go towards the Atlantic Ocean and towards my right shoulder is going to go towards the Pacific Ocean. This is our first stop, the Berthed Pass. So here is the monument for the Continental Divide Trail at the Berthed Pass. So you have New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. A few years ago, I did hike just a small part of this up to Flora Peak or Mount Flora, or whatever it is, I probably don't have that right. It was up to Flora, and that was my first 13er that I hiked up. Both titles, Flora Peak and Mount Flora, are both appropriate, and right now it's closed to public use. So up here at the Berthed Pass, we're eventually headed towards Steamboat, Colorado, but we're gonna head into Winter Park today I actually left early. We're going to leave tomorrow. And I just decided to take the day off my day job and leave a day early. So a little spontaneity. And there's Keely. And she's got her cell phone out. And the Berthed Pass sign, the Continental Divide Trail Monument. And there is little... Uh, I don't know, Berthed Pass Warming Hut, but they're closed. Well, hi, this is the last nail again, and we're up the road away from the Berthed Pass. We're up here now at uh, Winter Park. And I think it's the sign over there says we're going to be wandering because we're in Winter Park at Wanderer's Way. We're at a t-shirt shop in Winter Park, because I want to get a Winter Park t-shirt. It's called Active Images T-shirts. Here's the front door. They got a buy three, get the fourth item of the least value free, and that's pre-printed only, and they are open. And here's a Colorado flag with the sun shining through. Okay, so here's one of the typical Winter Park shirts, established 1940, elevation 12,060 feet. So here's, um, as some friends of ours would call this, some apparatus for the kids to play. I don't see many kids out here today because of the snow. And we're in pretty much downtown Winter Park now. This area in here where the apparatus is, there's a rest restroom. And right here is a place where they would have a fireplace. You could probably do some barbecuing there. This is called Hideaway Park. And here at Hideaway Park, there's a little entryway. Got three stones and a um, little sculpture. It looks like a metal sculpture. You can see Keeley through there. And she's starting to come this way. It's cold here. We're supposed to have our masks on, which is fine. But I have to wear my glasses down a little bit or they get fogged up. Hi, Keely. <laughs> and here's a moose in the middle of town. And that, uh, oh, he's all masked up. He, he looks like he's got the Winter Park mask. So he's looking over everything. Here's a statue of a cowboy on a horse. Reminds me of one of those old Remington statues. And this is called the Cooper Creek Square. Shopping, dining, entertainment. So we're here in, again, Winter Park, in a place called Paella's Fusion Cuisine. I'm reading this from the menu. And this looks like it's uh, some kind of fusion of Spain, in fact, let's go over here. Chef Neil brings a little piece of Spain to Colorado Olay. So it looks like it's a, a fusion of Spain 
and Colorado. So we've decided as an appetizer to go with the pan, palm, tomake, toasted sliced bread, brushed with fresh tomato, garlic, olive oil, and manchego cheese. And then we're gonna go ahead and go with the Roballo a la plancha, grilled Chilean sea bass, olive oil, garlic, parsley served with sauteed vegetables, and saffron rice. And Keely is going to treat herself to the Tortana Lane Tempranillo, Vino de la Tierra de Castilla, Spain. Or as we like to say, Espanol. It's being that we're in Winter Park, even though it's the end of October, Thank you. It looks more winter out here than it does end of October. Autumn. There's Paellas. 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 I guess Paellas restaurant. Here's some nice decorum. It's a nice painting. The decorum is in black. Okay, so here's the wine that Keely got. It's got a nice, uh, got a nice smell and taste. Uh, she, she even let me have a taste of that. It was pretty good. So, and then got some olives out. I'm not much of a, a olive fan, but boy, these are really good. They're not. They don't have like a bitter taste or the olive oil. And then we've got some uh, bread with uh, tomatoes, some cheese. It's got some, I forget what it said on the menu. It's not onions, that's the uh, cheese. It looks like onions, but it's cheese. Okay. So that's the piece I've decided to eat first. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna try some too. Okay, so more bread. Very good. Okay, so here's the second course, which is the soup. Of course, there's my mask, the olives, and there's my so soup. The soup. Let's take a look at the soup first. Okay, go ahead. Why don't you describe the soup? Oh, it's very meaty. Beans. It's got white beans. Garlic. Garlic. Tomato. A, looks like it's a tomato base. Looks like there's bacon. No, no snapping clams. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. That is I, really good. Keely loves the soup. The only reason I mentioned I mentioned snapping clams is those are three stooges. Curly was eating clam chowder and he had this clam that was spitting out water at him. So he was doing all the curly stuff that he used to do. That's probably a very inappropriate story for this kind of a restaurant. It just came to my mind, so I just thought I'd throw it out there. Okay, now here is the main course. We have right here the Chilean sea bass, and here's the Spanish rice, and here's the vegetables, the mixed vegetables. See zucchini in there, see carrots, looks like there's uh, peppers, the probably bell peppers. But we're going to go ahead and split this as we're basically splitting everything. God, that looks great. <laughs> Okay, and here's dessert. And what was this again? A cream, cream brulee. So it looks like it's got some kind of a, a custard. 
pumpkin head with blueberries and icy blackberries and raspberries. And we're gonna go ahead and split that. But boy, that looks, oh, look at that. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that looks, See, by the look on Keely's face, it looks pretty tasty, so I'm going to dive in, too. Let's take another look. That is so good. Okay. Oh, my goodness, that's good. So here's the Ipaeus restaurant. I'll just swing around here. There's the bar. And as we swing around to the left, the food here was just... Excellent and wonderful if you're in the Park City area. It's a little pricey, but it's unique Spanish Colorado food cuisine. It's very good. And here's what was behind us. Another picture of a bowl. And here's a guitar in the window. It's pretty much backlit by the white building in the snow, so it's coming out really dark. And here's another painting of a bowl. And this is by an artist by the name of Kelly Carlisle. And here's the outside. And again, we're in Winter Park. And there's my circles. And yes, it's cold now. There's a beautiful setting, beautiful rose, and a decanter of salt or a salt shaker, and the thing of olive oil. Okay, so we're here in the general store in Winter Park. I'm going to get a shirt from here, and this is the one I'm going to get. It has Winter Park established 1940, Colorado, elevation 12060, and of course, again, that's Winter Park. Price is pretty good. I just like the color of the shirt. Keely likes it, too. Yes. They have quite a few of the other touristy type things. Here, here's some sticker packs that are unique to Winter Park. Oh, and here's uh, some artsy pieces from Mill Creek Studios. Opening your window of imagination. Those are some beautiful works. Well, let's see, what does Keely have in mind? She's looking at shirts too. Here's one that's kind of cool, Winter Park Rocky Mountains, and it's right next to a Christmas display. And there's some stockings. So here's the fountain at the shopping center that we were just at. Of course, we have the eagle up there, and this is for being at the end of October, this is very winter parkish. And there's the lucky fountain with all the coins. I throw a coin in, but I just really don't carry cash too much anymore. And we're finally here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And again, as I mentioned, we left a day early. And this is our room. Now, it's a small room, I will admit, but it's nice. It'll, it'll be fine. This will be our home. Well, our home at night for the next four nights. And so, let's see. It's cozy. There's the bed. It's kind of toasty in here. They got it's, the heater on. It's cozy and it's warm. And it's at the famous, very well-known, um, long-time history and family-owned Rabbit Ears motel um very nice people at the front desk really 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 nice welcoming informative um and this 
was very reasonably priced for um, us staying here. And it has all, um, everything that we need as a microwave and a refrigerator, coffee. We'll go on a little tour. So anyway, there, I got to have the obligatory camera in the mirror shot. That's me now. I'm wearing, of course, my L.A. Dodger hat. Yes, I'm an L.A. Dodger fan from Southern California. And I haven't uh, stopped being a, a fan of my California teams. So here's the TV. Oh, and here's something. These look like rabbit ear postcards. Those are cool. So we go over here. Now, you might think this is a door to one of the adjoining, you know, motel rooms, but it's not. This is actually the closet. Keely already has a couple jackets in there. They got some extra pillows and a luggage rack. Let's close that up. And here's the dresser drawer. We might make use of this. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Empty. That's empty. And that's empty. Let's see if, uh, no, just a trash can, a chair. And of course, I have my jacket over the chair. I got my gloves and my cap over here. Now, Keely is checking messages. She says hi. There's a nightstand over there. Nightstand here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got nice. We got the steamboat springs. Probably what? I, I take that. That's yellow pages or something. Over here, a microwave. And we got a coffee machine. And then below that, we actually have, there's the ice box. And we actually have a refrigerator. Oh, it came with some food. It came with Power Aid. It came with Keely's hard boiled eggs. And it also, no, this is actually stuff that Keely had put in. It came with some bottle and some more Power Aid. And most importantly, oh, I didn't check out the bathroom is the bathroom. So obviously there's the toilet. We got a single sink. And like most people, they use EcoRite. EcoRite, I assume that that's cream, soap, conditioner, soap and savon, some extra cups, hair dryer, extra towels or I should say towels I don't know if these are her extra towels over here oh this is nice I, now I like this so many of these bathrooms have bathtubs this has a really cool walk-in shower no bathtub Aww. yeah Keely that was Keely she would rather have the bathtub but We'll do fine. You gotta remember that they cater to the ski crowd here. I like this. And we've got a nice, that looks like a pine door. I got one more thing I've gotta do before we eat, make sure that the room is good. Okay, I didn't. We we didn't want to do it too hard because we don't want the bed to sit and break <laughs> break down or anything like that. So that could get that could get <coughs> that can get rather expensive. So anyway, good night for now.